Of 40 students in an on-campus club, 14 are taking English, AP English. So this entire thing, let's label this right now. This is AP English. 14 are taking AP English. 29 are taking Honors Chemistry. By the way, it does not tell us how many are taking both. And only two are taking neither course. So I know two goes on the outside. So how many have to be combined within <coughs> these two circles? If there's a total of 40, how many have to be here? 40 subtract 2 would be 38. I know there's a total of 38 within this region. Okay, Within this entire region, there's 38 because it already tells us of 40 and 2 are not involved. Okay, we're going to use this overlapping formula. So here's the overlapping formula. A or B equals probability of A, remember you have to have this memorized, plus probability of B minus the probability of A and B. This is an and, and B. I'm going to let AP English be the first one. It states that 29, let's go, let's go back up here. It states 14 students are in AP English. I'll just do English here. Okay, so it states 14 of the 40 are in AP English. This will be our chem. <laughs> and it states that 29 of the 40 are in chemistry. And we know that together, if I push these two together, that would represent an or statement. An and would be what just what's in between. I don't know that. I know the or statement because there's a total of 40 within this club and two are not in either one of these. That means 38 have to be combined. So the or part would be 38. And I want to find out what is the intersection. This is the intersection. What do they have in common? So 14 plus 29 over 40. Use your calculator. 14, you can just do it in your head or some of you may want to do it on a calculator. So on a calculator, it's going to look like this. So I get 43, because I'm adding these together, 43 over 40. Subtract this to the opposite side. So I have negative probability of A and B equals negative 5 over 40. Remember when you have that negative on both sides, you divide both sides by a negative 1, and we end up with 5 over 40. That means the intersection between A and B or the overlapping portion would be five of the total 40 students are both in AP English and Honors Chemistry. So put a five up here. We know that there's a total of 14 students in English. Well, five are in this portion, and we need a total of 14 here. That leaves me with nine in this portion. Likewise, we know that there's 29 students in Honors Chemistry. If five are in this overlapping portion, then 24 would be left in this portion of the Venn diagram. <laughs> Two students in the club are taking both AP English and Honors Chemistry. Not two, false. Actually, how many are there? There are a total of five. So th there'd be five students. False statement. 24 students are taking Honors Chemistry. 24 students are taking Honors, honors Chemistry, but not AP. So here's Honors Chemistry. We know there's 29. These five are also taking AP English. So 24 students are taking Honors Chemistry, but not AP. That is a true statement. The probability that a student is in AP English or Honors Chemistry is 0.95. Or means push this all together and divide by the total of 40. So I know there's 40 students in all in the club. And if I add up 9, 5, and 24, I end up with 38. So take 38 and divide it by 40. 38 divided by 40 is 0.95 or 95%. True statement. The probability that a student is taking both classes, well, both classes would be a 5. Take 5 and divide it by 40. 0.125. Point one two five true statement. The probability that a student is in AP English 
but not honors chemistry. So these are all AP English, but we don't want the honors chemistry portion. So let's take 9 out of 40. Oops, excuse me. 9 divided by 40 is 0.225 or 22.5%, not this number. False statement. Probability that a randomly chosen student is more likely to be in both classes than neither. So both classes means where do they intersect. So let's try 5 out of 40. This says they're more likely to be in both than neither. They're in neither means the 2 portion. And without even dividing, I can see that 5 over 40 is a greater number than 2 over 40. This is a true statement. Feel free to divide them if that helps you. Last statement, the probability that a student is in AP English given that they are in honors chemistry. Probability that they're in AP English given they're in honors chemistry. So given that they're in honors chemistry, what's the chance of them also being in AP English? That'd be five. Again, I go to the highlighted portion, the given. Within the given, where's the probability of being AP English? Right here, five. Five over 40, and I divide. 0.125, not this number, 0.125, false statement.